Hey y'all, welcome back. So it's raining outside, it's gloomy. I have been super sick and I'm pregnant. So I look like death, but I had to go ahead and do this video now because y'all look what just came in. This makeup I've been seeing blow up all over my Instagram and TikTok and everywhere else. And I know I'm probably late to the party. What else is new? But it looks insane. It looks too good to be true. Your girl got hooked. Sucked me right in. I said, I gotta try this stuff out. It's been a hot minute since I've done a makeup video or review, makeup review. So when this came in today, I said, I don't care that I look like death and I've been sick. We're just gonna do it. I can't wait. By the way, how cute is this little sweatshirt and not so cute big belly. I will drop the link for this sweatshirt down in the description below or you can shop through my link right here and I'll also put a coupon code um, in the description for you as well. Okay and I'm gonna try to show y'all it comes in this big giant kit. I have not opened it yet and I'm so excited. I don't even know where to start. If you haven't heard of it this makeup is called Saint. Basically these girls are like throwing this makeup all over their face any old sloppy way and then miraculously when they blend it all out it's like they look like a movie star we're gonna put it to the test i'm gonna give you all my honest review we're gonna try it out because i've had enough i have got to know if this stuff works as good as it looks where do we start this giant kit is a kit that you can get if you sign up Yes, this company is one of those that you can sign up and you can be like a seller of it. The only reason I did that is because the value, I'm like, okay, I might as well just sign up, get this giant kit. And then if we like it, y'all can shop through my link. I can shop through my link. Basically, I just signed up for myself. As always, I'm going to be completely honest with everything I try out. If it's terrible, I'm going to say, oh my gosh, this is terrible. But hopefully we like it. <sighs> I'm out of breath this baby y'all. If we do end up liking it, I will drop my link in the description. I'll also throw it up here and y'all can shop through my link. Okay, let's unbox because I cannot wait. You cannot get this much makeup on their website for the value any other way. So I'm like, I want all the makeup. Just give it all to me. In the starter kit, first up, we have these are their palettes. So basically it comes with a mirror and then this is magnetic. This has got two levels on it. This is the big one. And then we've got this one. Also got two levels, but it's a little smaller. And then we got these two smaller ones here. Look like this and it's just one level. But they all have this magnetic tray. And then all of the makeup comes in these little tins. How stinking cute, y'all. These little tins, okay, which are super luxurious and like, they look so pretty. They all have like these pretty, super pretty like magazine looking pictures on them. And then they slide open. Oh, I just stuck my finger in that. They slide open and this is your little tin that you stick to your little tray. So you can customize it however you want. Basically when your makeup runs out, you just change out your little tray and you're good to go. Also, basically what this makeup is about is simplifying your makeup routine. So for busy mamas like me, don't have time to do your makeup. You don't have a whole lot of time to get ready. All of your makeup fits in this one thing. One little compact. And these girls are doing their makeup in like five to 10 minutes and they're done. So also because all of their products are cream, they're all applied at the same time. So you don't layer your makeup. You apply everything in the exact spot it's supposed to be, and then you blend it all out. So you don't have caked on makeup. It looks really natural and flawless. Now, y'all know I cannot stand cream makeup. I have always hated creams. Anytime I get like a cream blush or something, I can't stand the way it sits on my face. It doesn't like absorb. It just like sits on top and creates like this gross texture. This stuff looks too good to be true, especially for it to be cream. But like I said, we're gonna try it out. The packaging is gorgeous. Their foundations are not called foundations, they're called highlights. So you get different shades of highlights. Ooh, this one's really dark. That's not gonna work for me. But you get different shades of highlights and basically you use like two or three different highlight shades for your foundation and concealer, if that makes any sort of sense. I'm probably making no sense. But look how pretty their packaging is. These little metal tins are so, oh, and I keep sticking my fingers. Uh, this one's called Sunlit. Okay. 
better. That might be a good like brightener for under the eyes. Bingo. Can y'all, I just, I can't get over these pictures. Hmm, this is Amber. That, okay, we're getting somewhere. Basically all the foundations and concealers are called highlight. You pick a shade that's close to your face for your foundation. Then you pick another shade of highlight to use as concealer that's just a little lighter. It's called White Peach. That one, that one actually doesn't look bad. Aura, Aura. Ooh, that one's pretty good too. June, which also looks really close to my skin. We're gonna have to play around and see which one of these because there's so many options. But so you have your highlights, which basically you use as your foundations and concealers. Then you have what's called contours, which you use to contour. So this one is called shadow. Ooh, that's pretty. Walnut, stone, astoria, aspen, indigo. Oops, super dark. Y'all don't think I'm crazy, but texture on this thing, it's got little bubbles in it right now. I don't know if y'all can see. It looks just like a crunch bar and now I want one. So bad. <laughs> then you have what's called their bronzer, which is a bronzer. This one's called Bella. This is the one I pretty much see everyone using. You have what's called lip and cheek. Basically these can be used on your lips and on your cheeks. So they're kind of like pinky peachy hues. So this one's called Black Cherry. Looks super dark, but they're creams. So just remember, even though it looks dark, it's probably not gonna be that dark. Pink grapefruit. Ooh, that one's really pretty. Nude, which is probably gonna be my best friend because I love me a nude. Then we have this, it's called Vanilla Dust and it's the only shade they have. It's the Set and Powder and it's actually a powder. It's not a cream because it's meant to set your face um, so your makeup doesn't move or crease or anything like that. And then we have two, what we would call, or what I would call highlights, but they're not called highlights, they're called illuminators. Their version of highlighters. So this one is pearl. This one is rose gold. So those are all the little tins like that. Then we've got all these bad boys, which are their little eyeshadows and they come in little squares. So this one's called oak. I think I'll just put all my eyeshadows in this medium sized double palette for now, just so we can see them all. In case you're wondering, these actually do look like powders. It doesn't look like a cream. Okay, so I went ahead and threw all of the eyeshadows they sent me into this top section of my little compact thing. Look how pretty these shades are, y'all. I cannot. That one right there, <gasps> can't wait. They did actually send me two of the same color. I'm sure if that was just like an oversight or something, but I can't wait to try these out. They look so pretty. Um, This is one of their skincare products. It's called Cream. And basically it looks like this. Oh Lord, I'm gonna break this thing. So you pop the top off, press it down. I love things like this. And it squeezes out the top. And then I'm not gonna put it on my face just cause I wanna see how the makeup sits without anything on it. Oh my gosh, y'all, this smells so fresh and clean. Oh, I love it. But I have seen a lot of girls that say they use this prior to putting their makeup on. I personally don't like to put things under my makeup just because I feel like it sits funny on my face. So I wanna try the makeup out without anything on my face, just solely to see how it works by itself first. But this is already absorbing into my skin. It smells so good. So I'll probably use this at night before I go to bed. Also got this little thing. Oh, this is the Perfector. So this is basically just like their beauty blender makeup sponge. Mine looks like it got crunched. But basically you wet this and then you dab off any like excess product. It helps even out your makeup. You also get all these <laughs> makeup brushes. I'm not gonna bore y'all with showing y'all each brush, but basically um, this is the powder brush. Ooh. But basically these brushes, I love the color. It's like a rose gold. Ew. The other ones I saw were not this color. I like this color. Um, They're all double ended. Like I said, the purpose of this brand is just like super functionality, quick, easy, efficient for busy moms and people who don't have time. All their brushes are double-ended, super soft. 
Ew. I'll go ahead and open up all these brushes real quick. And then you also get this, which just tells you a little bit about everything, where to put each thing, what each thing is, how to contour, stuff like that. This is the founder of the company. The company used to be called Mascara. Her name is Kara, but they changed it. They revamped it. They updated it recently. Like I said, I'm late to the party. Apparently this stuff has been around for a while. I'm just recently seeing it blow up. So we are going to try it out. And I'm looking a little dead today. Hopefully it can bring me back to life. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pop all of my little things into a tray. Try to figure out which color is best for me to use. And we're going to try this stuff out. Okay, so I went ahead and put all the ones that I think I'm going to use in this thing right here. I've got all these extras that I can put down here eventually. And I've got, um, like I said, all the shadows are in this one, which these look gorgeous. But you can totally put, once I figure out all the ones that I like, um, I can totally put them all in one place. And then every single thing I need for my face will all be in this one palette, which is super nice. Um, so these girls just take their brushes and you apply it only to where you need it. So I am gonna throw my hair up. Probably gonna look crazy to get my crazy hair out of my face. Okay, so that we can see my face and we can really get in there. So these are my two highlight shades, which as I would call it, this is the foundation and this is the concealer. We've got our setting powder our bronzer. I've got two contour shades because I'm not sure which one I want to go with. I've got two blushes and then I've got a highlighter here that I think I'm going to like. So pretty much everything in one. Let's try it out. Which one of these brushes do I want to use? Okay, I'm going to use this brush and I don't know which one it is, but now I'm going to go with the smaller end. I'm going to go into the main highlight. This one for me is called June. And they say less is more with this stuff because it's cream. So you literally barely touch it. They say this stuff lasts forever. We'll find out. But I'm going to put this in all the places that regular foundation would be. Not contour, not concealer, just regular foundation. So down here, that looks actually like a good color. Okay, maybe I should work in a different order because I'm getting confused. I think I'm going to put my concealer shade on first because I'm getting confused. Okay, so let me go into this light to pop highlight shade, which for me is called Sunlit. And I'm going to take this small little brush. I'm going to put this in all the places that I would normally want to brighten or put light concealer. Here. Here. I feel like I'm making this harder than it's supposed to be too. There. These girls just put like dots and then they blend it there. I did already do my brows just because there's not a brow pencil and I didn't want to like fool with trying to do my brows with this stuff yet. I just want to like focus on the face. Okay, this is everywhere I normally would do like a pop of concealer. Then they say for color correcting, um, which I also, I'm having some redness right here. I think it's just because I'm hot. Um, could be pregnancy hormones, could be the fact that I've been sick, but either way, I'm gonna go into yeah, so this shade here, which is called Aspen, they say you can use that as a color corrector and it gets rid of your redness because it has like that ashy tone. So I'm going to pop that just like around here. Probably should use a bigger brush. I'm just going to use the same brush here. And I've also got some redness on my nose. Okay. Wow, that rid, that rid, that really did like tone down my redness. Okay, I'm going to put my contour where I normally would put contour. So I think the brushes are the most confusing for me, honestly. Maybe I'll use this one. Okay, so for contour, I'm going into this darker shade called Astoria. And I'm just going to draw a line right a little higher than my cheekbone because we want to look lifted. Okay, um, and we're also going to go up here. Ooh, this is a really pretty color on. Doesn't look like this in the pan. We also want to go um, on the jawline just a little. I'll contour the nose. I'm kind of nervous about that. I'm going to use the end of this to contour the nose. Okay. All right. And so everywhere that's left now, I'll go back in with my foundation shade. So, or my regular highlight shade, which is June. 
So we fill in here, here, here. So we stick everything where it goes and then basically blend it all out. So I'm gonna take the other end, which is a little fatter. Hopefully that's the right end to blend because I don't even know. They say to blend the light areas first and then your dark areas. So light areas. And then Wow, this is blending out really pretty on my skin. It doesn't feel creamy at all. Like it feels dry. Oh. What? Okay, this is actually shocking me a little bit here. Look at that. Look at the coverage. But it looks like skin, like it's not cakey at all. And then we blend out the bronzed areas. So. Under here. And around here. And it just like gives you a uniform, supposedly natural pretty contoured look, which whoa really does look pretty yeah my nose i haven't blended and it's like still stuffy and runny so i do think i'm a little shocked at how good this covered i do think i need to go back over my contour on my nose because for some reason i think i just like blended it too much like i said i think figuring out which brush is the hardest part yeah, I don't know about the nose contour. I've also seen some girls use their fingers, so maybe we'll try that. You put it on your finger, rub it together, and then go down. That actually looks way better. Now that I think about it, I remember the girl saying it's much easier to do your nose with your fingers. And it actually, it actually is. Okay. All right. So, if we want to brighten up some areas a little more, they said you can go back into your pop or your bright highlight and add more. But I'm going to add a little more. I feel like it didn't quite get bright enough. Maybe I just don't know what I'm doing yet, but... Okay, then um, the setting powder. Okay, so for the setting powder, I'm gonna use this, which is called their Perfector. Basically, it's their sponge. I did wet it and wring it out so it's damp. Say you can use this if you put too much product. It like evens out your skin. I'm definitely getting product on there, but I'm gonna use it for my setting powder. So this powder right here, I'm gonna try with that. Not sure if that's gonna work. I might need to use a brush. I feel like I'm having to learn how to do makeup all over again because this, oh, that's actually working nice. Um, because this is like all new to me. I'm gonna set my eyelids too because I don't want any crease in since this is a cream. I'm just gonna set all the places that normally on me get a little Greasy or greasy, greasy or greasy. This is really pretty. Okay, next we have to do our blush and our bronzer. So this end I'm gonna use for blush, this end I'll use for bronzer. For the blush, I think we'll go into both of them, why not? So first I'm gonna go into pink grapefruit. Ooh, and oh my, it looks scary, but I've heard that it goes on scary, and then when you blend it, it's gorgeous. And I'm going to take a little bit of the nude color down here and mix the two together. And you, like, do, like, a dabbing pattern-like motion. 
I think I put too much. Oh, that is intense. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Definitely put too much blush. I saw someone say if you use too much, you can go back with your foundation and kind of like pat it on top to tone it down. That worked. <laughs> so our bronzer is this shade right here. I'm gonna go in with this big fluffy brush, my bronzer, and add it to give my face a little more warmth because I feel like I still look a little dead. And normally I have my fake tan on and I haven't done that because I've just been sick. Hadn't felt like doing it. Oh yeah, the bronzer just like instantly like brings it all together. Perfect. Love this bronzer. Okay. Feeling it? I might go crazy with this bronzer because I like it so much. I like to have a super bronzed look. Hmm. Okay. So next we're gonna do highlight. I've seen people tap with their fingers. I think I'm gonna use this because I don't know what else to use. And I'm gonna go into this shade here, which is called Pearl and tap it up. Ah. Ooh, very pretty. Okay, I was not expecting this highlight to look like this. I thought it was gonna like make all my makeup move and smudge. Oh. That is gorgeous. Do y'all see this? Look at this. That is so pretty. I'm gonna put some here. I'll use this teeny brush and I'll pop some up here under my eye, under my eyebrow, not my eye. Okay, put some on my finger and go down my nose. Ooh, so pretty. You can contour your lip, which we want to do. I forgot to do. So I'm going to take my contour color, go under there and contour and then blend with my finger to make your lip look a little bigger. And then they also use blush shades as lip shades because they're called lip and cheeks. So I think I'm going to take the nude and pop that on. Mm. Let's add, I'll add some pink grapefruit. Whoa, the lips look big. I need to contour the top lip, I think. My lips are super dry, so super chapped. Yeah, I need to contour the top lip because that's a little much on the bottom. A little bit up here. My lips look huge. Whoa, what happened? <laughs> okay, I'll take it. They look ginormous. Whoa, okay. Well, if they weren't chapped, they'd look even better, but. So for the eyeshadow, Ooh, look at these colors. Okay, so for the eyeshadow, I kind of want to use this color in the crease. Stay Golden. I'm going to pop that in the crease. So we're going to pop Stay Golden right here into the crease with our fluffy little brush they sent us. Oh, that's way lighter than I thought it was. Never mind. We're going to go into this one called Oak and we're going to pop that in the crease blend. Okay, there is a lot of fallout with this color. So I don't know if it's just this color or what. Eh, not crazy about it. I'm gonna go in this darker shade, um, which looks the same when I put it on. That's great. Okay, so the fallout is real. Really happening. Eh, I don't know about this eyeshadow. Hmm. <laughs> So we're gonna go into this bright shade called Sabrina and pop that on the lid. Ooh, that's pretty. And the inner corner. And I'm gonna pop it up here too. That one's pretty. I don't know, y'all. I don't know about these. Don't know how I'm feeling about. I mean, the face looks great. The lips look ginormous. Eyeshadow is throwing me off. Which doesn't normally happen. Normally eyeshadow is like easy. I'm gonna go into a darker shade and try to line my lower lid. Get a little depth. And then 
they gave me this really dark color. This color's called Salem. Okay, I'm gonna try to line my line my eyes with Salem. Instead of having to have an eyeliner, you just use the dark eyeshadow. That actually works pretty good. Okay, as an eyeliner, I really think that worked pretty good. I do feel like I need to fix my brows now because they got kind of jacked up when I was doing my makeup. It's my fault. I probably shouldn't have done my brows before before the face makeup. I just trying to get a step ahead, but whatever. Hmm. Okay. I kind of want to try out this like sparkly one just to see. Oh my. Let me just Whoa! Okay, that one is intense. I just wanted to see oh, what it looks like and it is intense. Okay, for like holiday, that's pretty, but it's very, very intense. Whoa. Well, I'm gonna throw on some mascara and give y'all these final thoughts on this makeup. Okay, I'm gonna show y'all what I'm doing. I went back in and added even more of the like bright highlight shade or the shade I'm using for concealer. And then I'm taking this brush instead of the sponge and I'm setting it with that setting powder. And y'all, this looks so much better. I like a super bright under eye and I just felt like it wasn't there yet. This is looking great to me. To y'all, it might look crazy, but to me, makeup is what you want your face to look like. And to me, it's so much brighter. I like it so much more. I'll definitely go that route. I'm also going to try to fix these eyes because I feel like there's nothing there. I don't know. The shadow just isn't there for me. I'm not feeling this eyeshadow. I'm just not feeling it. Maybe if I go into the dark, dark shade. No, I normally use bronzer, my bronzer for my eyeshadow. And I am just not feeling this. I feel like I'm making it worse. I don't know. Maybe I'm just not used to this makeup yet. Um, I know when I first tried Unique, I was like not a fan at all. And now that's literally what I use every single day. That's all I do my makeup with every day when I'm in a hurry. But this, I just don't know. Something's funky and I don't know what it is. The face I'm feeling, the eyes, it's throwing me off. Like I'm literally about to wipe it off and just do. Kind of just want to use the face makeup up there instead. I'm gonna try the face makeup. I'm gonna use this here. I'm gonna use the bronzer for eyeshadow like I do with my regular eyeshadow. Cause I just wanna see. And yeah, I like that better already. Like I look alive and not like a skeleton. Maybe it's just the colors they sent me, but I would definitely rather use the bronzer for eyeshadow. That eyeshadow was not doing it for me. And I don't know. I mean, if you've tried this before, maybe you know something I don't, but that was not working. This is definitely better. Sometimes you gotta play with makeup and what works with one makeup completely done with another. And you gotta see like what you like. I can definitely say I'm gonna have to play with this some more and figure it out because right now I don't know about the eyeshadow, but the face makeup, I'm liking better. My lips, I need some sort of gloss because they're so chapped. And they do have a balm that I'd like to get, so. That would probably be good to put on with it, but my lips do look huge, which is odd. All right, let's take this hair out and get the full look here. Okay, here's the finished look. So, what are our thoughts? As far as the face goes, I think it's gorgeous. Um, my skin feels like skin. I'm not seeing any creasing or anything like that. And as far as like, as far as like texture and stuff, it looks really good. It really does look like skin, but just like better. I did set under my eyes really well because I didn't want crease in there and it feels matte. You know, it doesn't feel sticky at all. Um, my face feels a teeny bit, not sticky, but just like skin. It doesn't feel matte like under my eyes because I didn't set my face, but you can totally set your face if you want to. I don't know how this wears, so that might be an option. But as far as face makes up, face makeup goes. I really do like it. The eyeshadow. Not a fan. I was not a fan. Um, I used the bronzer and I actually like it better than the eyeshadow. So I don't know. Maybe it's just, like I said, the colors they sent me. 
I didn't really get like a warm brown, which is what I like to put in my crease. But the bronzer actually worked pretty. As far as using this makeup and it being quick and easy, I think it's something I just, you have to learn. I think once you learn how to use it, then yeah, it would be super fast. Um, you're gonna have to take time to learn how to do it because it's like a whole new way of doing your makeup from what I'm used to. It is really pretty though. Really natural looking. I'm gonna play around with it some more and let y'all know. Like I said, it could just be that I don't have the right colors, but for the face, I absolutely love it. I'm gonna play around with it some more and I might come back and do like a follow-up type of thing. I think ultimately I would use this for my face makeup and like I would leave the eyeshadow, eyeliner, mascara, eyebrows, all that stuff for just like regular makeup. But on the face, it's definitely, definitely like flawless looking. I would grab it for your face. Not so sure yet about the eyes. Those are my thoughts. I'm gonna play around with it some more. If you wanna try this stuff out, if you wanna grab some, I would definitely recommend grabbing the face makeup. It's flawless on the face. So again, I'll throw my link up here. I'll throw it down there. Y'all can shop through my link if you want to. I wanna play around with it some more and I might come back and do a follow-up video. Cause like I said, I hated the unique at first and now y'all know, I love it. So. I hope this video was somewhat helpful. I know I don't know what I'm doing, but I was trying it out for the first time. Um, so it's my honest first impression. Y'all got to see all the trial and errors that come along with the first impression. I hope you liked it. Y'all give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.